Fellow Kenyans, I thank all of you for staying strong and for being there for each other's sake, showing the true spirit that is Kenya. A united nation, strong against any adversity. We are a multi-ethnic, multi-cultural, and multi-religious society. And we are a society that believes that our diversity is also our strength. Let us continue to keep all the affected people in our thoughts and prayers, even as we reach out with a helping hand. I want every bereaved family to know that I, and indeed all of us, mourn very deeply with them. No one should lose their life so needlessly, so senselessly. And no family should have to receive news that their loved ones have been killed by a criminal bunch of cowards. As your president, and as a leader, and also as a Kenyan, I feel the pain of every life we have lost and share your grief at our nation's loss. With the professionals on site, I assure Kenyans that we have as good a chance to successfully neutralize the terrorists as we can hope for. They shall not get away with their despicable and beastly acts. This is not a Kenyan war. This is an international war. And we need to join hands and work together to see it effectively destroyed. It is this spirit that will ensure that we succeed against the cowards. I want to be very clear and categorical. We shall not relent on the war on terror. My government continues to invest heavily in, to combat extremists and terrorists. This global effort needs to be reinforced because as we know, the intent of terrorists is to destroy free, secure, democratic nations and people. 